Hey, this is Growling Go, and I am an ex-Titanfall junkie and Day Zero Apex player with over 750 logged hours in the game. I'm also a huge stats nerd, which is why I love covering the ALGS with my friends in the Apex community. But it was the combination of my love for Apex and stats and my determination to improve at the game that brought me to devise this plan. I want to land at every POI in the game on all five maps 100 times each in a row and I am going to track every single stat possible along the way. That way I have a solid understanding of which POIs I perform well at and which ones I should avoid dropping into. Along this journey, we will be tracking the following stats in order to determine the best landing POIs in the game. Kills, wins, kills per game, win percentage, highest damage, highest kills, average damage, average kills, whether the zone is hot or not, whether the POI is free or contested off drop, and we're even going to be breaking it down teammate by teammate and by duos mode and trios mode. All of these games will be in pubs matches to keep the data as normal as possible. Additionally, if you're coming into this video expecting me to have a 25% win rate and a 5.0 KD over these 100 games, just tab off the video. I'm sure Fade is probably live right now, just go watch his stream if you're looking for top 0.01% gameplay, but if you're looking to find out what every POI in the game looks like when dropped into by the average player, and along the way learn how you can improve your own performance at these POIs, then listen in, because we are about to leave no stat unturned and no tip unlearned. This video is also separated into chapters, so you can skip around by scrubbing through the video or checking the links in the description. This way, if you're here just for the stat breakdown, or just want to watch some of the gameplay, it's quick and easy to skip around to the part of the video you want to watch. But without further ado, let's get into the POI breakdown of Estates. Estates is a nearly symmetrical POI located towards the middle of the map, just west of Hammond Labs. In the dead center we have this three floor building with two pills on the exterior top floor, two pills on the exterior ground level, and ground loot throughout all three levels. There is also a survey beacon on the roof, which can be used by recon characters to get a scan of everyone in the lobby's whereabouts. This middle building is the god spot of the POI, and since the top floor is the highest point in the immediate area and has sight lines 360 degrees overlooking all the other buildings, you can pick and choose your battles effectively. For this video, we will call this building Top Mid. On either side of Top Mid are the two other large structures within estates. We'll call them 2x4 and Longboy for self-explanatory reasons. These would be my second favorite spots to drop, as they have considerable loot and height advantage over all the other buildings, with the exception of top mid. Next we have the outer rim, a series of small one-room houses with ground loot that encircle top mid. I would only drop these buildings in a real pinch, as they do not have height advantage and have considerably less loot than the three bigger buildings. Finally, we have the areas on the fringe of estates. These are the jump tower slash respawn beacon to the west, what we'll call Bike Shop, or Bikes, underneath the Trident Overpass to the north, and what we'll call Pit Stop, a three-level section of buildings to the east of Estates, halfway to Hammond Labs. Prior to doing this challenge, my favorite drop spot in Estates were in order Top Mid, and then either 2x4 or Long Boy, and then only if absolutely necessary, I would drop Outer Rim. The fringe spots I would really only drop at if Jumpmaster messed up their landing, or if I had an AFK or a disconnected teammate that I needed to put down in a safe spot which did happen in these 100 games. Now at the end of the gameplay section, we'll get together again and go over all the stats in a big breakdown and figure out where in estates I was the most successful dropping and eventually how estates compares to every other POI in the game in terms of average kills, damage, wins, and just about every other stat I can possibly track. Now if you want to skip the gameplay of the 100 drops and just check in on the stats, go ahead and skip to this point in the video now. But that's all I've got for you. Enjoy the tunes, enjoy your 100 straight drops of estates on Olympus, and I will see you very soon afterwards for the breakdown. Adios. I'm aping him. Got him. Mm. Got him, got him. Other one's up top. Get, 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 come here, come here, come here. No, I was behind the wall, dude. You're good. Stay alive, stay alive. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, good try, dude. You almost did that.
No! I hit three for three. One's 200, one hits 200, bang one, bang one. Bang literally one, bang literally one. Oh no, he's trying to pop, he, no, he, there's no way you're gonna get that shit off, bro. What are you thinking? Why didn't you push with me? Take height here. Doctor. Don't drop behind us. Don't drop behind us. No ammo, anyways. Water. Nice. I need to thirst this. 
Oh my god. What? That was Wraith's one shot. Wraith's one shot. Got this. in a row, dude. It's like they do it on purpose so you can fuck up and then die. We're gonna land right on top of these kids. Damn. You laser beam that kid. Full armor almost cracked. Got him. One in the back almost cracked too. He's gotta be one. Wraith is one shot. She's, she's flush. She pushed up. Focus on her. Dead. All dead. Nice. I'm with you. What? No. He's so one shot, dude. What the? Bro, why are you? Bro. Me, so they're dead here. They're dead here to a third party. We just got running and 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 running. That sucks. Oh my god. Oh my god, travel my soldier. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, what are you about to do? Oh, it's a team of two. You're. 
Wait, it was actually a team of two? 84 on him. He's one shot. Grab a swap. All dead. Oh my god, that fuse almost got it done to him. Ping them, bro. They're pinging. Hey, uh, Editor Grout on here. Uh, not sure what happened with this footage. It is super choppy for whatever reason, but uh, it was one of our wins, so I had to leave it in. So, bear with me for this one. Uh, all the rest get better. Yay! Teammate came through! I killed one. Never enough bullets. She's always not enough. I don't know what, dude. I had no heals. I don't know what happened. I literally. Uh... Cracked him. He's AFK. Damn, you were actually shitting on this. If I'd have done that what? to him, dude. Hundred on him. No, I couldn't get the swap fast enough, dude. Nice, you're good. Dude. dude, that's so annoying. Why did? Hundred seventy on them? Not no, dude. <laughs> Right here. This kid is an idiot, bro. He's a mirage. Goodbye, kid. Ah, let me in. We're not dying when yeah, I wasn't there. Way to mom, bro. One's trying to go by. Does he realize that we could see him? Double kick, double kick. It's 1v1. You gotta clean 1v1. You gotta clean 1v1. Nice. 
knocked one. He's dead. Nice. Nicely played. Dropping. on the back of course. What did I hit him for, dude? Let's go to the left. I knocked one. How does he do that, dude? One full team. Bro, why is your heart start so annoying? Oh my god, you are dumb. You can and not think about if it's gonna kill him or not. One clipped one. I'm saying don't kill the soul yeah, I mean, right kills, now, though. before they drop down. I hit him so much flesh. Nice. 
literally one. Kill this kid, kill this kid, right in front of me. No, he's one. I hit him 17, bro. He's literally one on me. Better we just play respawn modes. They're all weak in here. Nice. I'm Phoenixing. You gotta shoot for me. Grab that swap. I also. I'm getting hits on that. My res. I don't have any. This is all I have. Uh, I think it's one guy. Callus one. Other one's one, other one's one. Grab here, grab here, grab Play me! Play me, somebody. Nice. That was the one guy. Dance on him, baby! Dance on him, baby! Oh. Let's go. Yeah. I appreciate that. This guy has won. Knocked him. No, I got killed mid-grab. 
Yeah, I can't. I just. Right there. Cracked another one. It's a mid off. I don't know what the f he thinks he's doing. I'm going in. Take it. Bang knocked. Horizon one. I need you to hold for this Phoenix, Grizz. No! You have double knock, you have double knock. Ah, uh, good try. I'm telling you, we don't we don't make sane decisions over here on Xbox. Wide swinger die. Dead. Oh, no, you don't. I'm swinging with the press. Jesus, y'all mother This M and K shit, bro. This A M and K. They're both on. Teammates out. From the trenches. I came. I s oh. I don't know if I want to come. That guy, is, that's unfortunate. That's fortunate for that guy, too. A little rat? Oh, he's on top! Oh, huge spray! He's won! I was like, no way he did all that. Editor, we're out on here again. So, unfortunately, this recording had a bug where the audio is super delayed compared to the video. Uh, once again, solved the issue by now. Again, it was a win, so I couldn't cut it out. Ridiculous how this happens. Let me get a tap in! Whoa. Daddy! W shirt. Happy one. Wait, she got a what? Knock two. I knocked two. Yeah, it's only one more guy. Oh, I f***ed that up. And then I grappled the Octane, dude. No! No! Slump Isaiah. And he's on PlayStation. He's gotta be terrible. Wait, oh. See ya.
Here, I'm gonna ping it. It's not gonna. Let's go over there. Dude, should we just leave? Where's this guy? I'm breaking off and I'm going. Are you? <laughs> it's the challenge. I have to. It's for the challenge. Oh, I have to. All right, I'm there. I'm looting. Our teammates so good. <laughs> He's probably like, what? Are you? How about you stay with the team, bud? Two versus one. L bozo. <laughs> L plus ratio plus rip bozo. <laughs> what? I no reg the last bullet? That's one. I somehow no reg the last bullet. I have an R9, I'm coming. Wraith one. Dead. He's one of those guys that pushed me. He's right above me. Right above me. Bottom! Very weak. Where are you? Crack the other one. Other one's one. Other one's one. Other one's one. I didn't know where she was. Got one. Pop. Perp, 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 perp. Let me. Get it. All dead. Fighting someone else. Fighting someone else. Yeah, Loba's up top. Bro, I just got caught in the middle of both of them. That's annoying. Not for me! I did not know you pushed all the way over there. No, he's not going to. It's two teams. I got I literally got pinched on the swing. Good patience there. I'll shoot for you. It's so annoying. And I didn't get a gun. On bottom. I knocked that guy that was on you. Okay, I'm running. I need to heal. What in the f dude? Why? Where was this guy? What is this angle this kid had? Yeah, we gotta clean this up. Crack bolt, crack bolt on that one. Lock one. Nice. Dude, he's, he's he's arcing your door, arcing your door. Oh my god, you're just better. You're just better. Just plain better. Here he comes. One, one, one. I'm playing with you. We need to 
swap. I need to get the swap. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm dropping back. No, 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 no. She's one, dude. I'm just, I'm full healing. Wait, no, 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 one's, one's over here also. Oh, they're split? Oh, here, I'm gonna, I ate this yeah. one, ate this with me. Come here, come here, come here, ate this with me. Bandage cracked. All done. I'm grabbing her swap. No. <laughs> One's one. I chunked her. Oh, she's dead. No, that's bad. Baby ducks in the house as like pets. That's cute. Wow. Ah, oh, One's one out here. This one here, and this, this is one. She's one. Absolute. Absolute. Damn. No. Whatever. I was popping off, dude. This horizon's one. Horizon's one. Nice, thank you. Hit nine. Killed one. Double swing. Just want the low. Just want the low. Yeah, he's right here. Them. 
I'm just gonna take the port. The port. Isn't that just convenient? Oh. Aw, what happened? Yo, what? Venus. Oh, get three tapped with the Mozam. That is so crazy. One. Crack that wraith. Thanks. Ash dead. Watch the rampart. Dude, oh, I took on my damn tent. I'm gonna win. There's nothing I can do, bro. <laughs> I'm one. Yeah. Uh, if there's enough loot. Wait, wait, find the one right here. I'm pushing down, right, down, right, down, right, down, right, down, right, down, I'm pushing too. Nice. Wraith one. Got her. Look, right, right here. Nice. Come on, come in, come in, come in. Maybe the other team behind us, too. On me, on me, on me, Drew. Oh, he's cracked. He's right here, he's right here. Also cracked. He's getting shot up by another team. It, they're right here. They're just sitting there, two of them. Oh, it's two of them. What the fuck? No, no swap in there. Check it, 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 I'm gonna squish these kids. Got one. She's flesh. Dead. Oh, right in front of us. I'm dead here. Alright, alright. No, no, no. You're good, you're good, you're good. That's like so. It's like such unfortunate timing. Just too. I can take care of them. Nope. Yeah, you're mad safe.
Horizon 1. Right here, I'm giving knock, I'm giving knock, I'm giving knock, I'm giving knock. Play my knock, both of you. There's no shield swaps, like no shield, no cell, no. Knock him. Drop down. It's like I can never loot my box. I, I forgot I was an Octane anymore and I went to Stim Strafe and I grabbed right into him. Rock. Bro. There's no audio on that at all. Like, what the? Well, I didn't hear the door open, I didn't hear any footsteps, absolutely nothing. is such a dog. I hate this game. Bro, y'all, no, I can't dip like that. Like, I can't jump up there like that. I got one. We can grab this banner. Alright, Albie. Bro. I'm gonna spawn you on the one that's close to you, by the way. So, he spawned me by like the, the pink nest tower. Was there any guns in those vents? Uh, nothing I can do. Ah. Me trying to clutch up my teammates. Oh, oh, yo, up. Oh, yo, up. Oh, yo, up. Oh, yo, up. I'm a, you can have those three bins. Press, press. You have those three bins. Have them. There's all three of them See the world through the whiskey glasses. I can't hear shit. All right, boys, get in here. More KP for the guys who killed us last time. Woo! For real, they're gonna be feeding the twenty bombs right now. Dude, these these guys who are on the other team, and they gotta be ecstatic, dude. They gotta be like, oh my god, this is our game. We need to back up, dude. We need to back up. Behind us, climbing up on us. Dude, we're just getting pinched. Why are these teams not fighting each other? This doesn't make any sense at all. Got one slipping over there. Right here. Right here. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. No, no. Come back. Come back. Come back. I need to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Come back! Damn it. Wouldn't listen. Another team coming in. Crap failed, dude. That's annoying.
Hey, told you I'd be back. So what we got here is an amalgamation of every single stat that I tracked throughout these 100 drops, all formatted in an Excel sheet. And then as we go down, I have things broken down by drop spot, duos and trios, and then a couple of cool charts that we're going to look at a little bit later. First and foremost, this is every single drop, as you can see, numbered one through 100. And the stats that I tracked, of course, like I said, damage, kills, where I dropped in the POI, whether the POI was hot or not, did I win the game or not, the game mode that I dropped into, duos or trios, and whether we were contested off rip or we had a free drop to loot, which didn't happen very often considering Estates is one of the single busiest POIs on all of Olympus. But it did happen. So looking at the chart, what these little highlight things mean, if you didn't watch the drops, if you came here just for the stats, I would highly suggest you go back, scrub through the video, use the chapters feature that I have. It's easy to find these games. Go watch them because they're either going to have something significant that happened, or of course, if you just want to watch the wins, I highlighted those out for you as well. The wins are game number 24, 28, 37, 48, and then we had back-to-back -back wins at game numbers 52 and 53 as well. So if you want to just watch the wins, go check those out. The teal blue highlights, these are going to be games of some significance, like I said, that I wanted to point out. Uh, game number 10 was the highest damage game that I achieved. Game number 74 was the highest kills that I achieved. Game number 88 was my soul goose egg. Zero damage, zero kills, participation award right there. And then game number 92, uh, I just highlighted it because I thought it was pretty funny. We did something like break a world record. We respawned each other like five, six times throughout one match. Just thought it was funny. Figured I'd throw that one in there as well. But that was really the games that stuck out to me and that's why I highlighted them in blue. So if you skip the gameplay section, go back and check those out if you want a, uh, a quick laugh or if you want to see the absolute highs or the absolute lows of my adventure through these 100 drops. Let's look at the totals first and foremost, because that's probably the most important thing or the biggest stat that we're going to be looking at here to determine whether I should drop here in the future or stick to other POIs, right? So the total damage that I racked up in 100 games was 52,471. That really won't mean anything until we get a couple more POIs under our belt, so we kind of know what the average is. The total number of kills I got was 136 in 100 games, which means average kill per game of 1.36. So what does that mean? Well, just looking at totals for damage and kills and also averages for damage and kills, this is significantly below my average for both of these categories within this season, actually. Uh, my stats for reference, I wanna say my KD, or, or yeah, my KD is around like a 1.64 um, for this season. And then obviously all these drops took place in this season. so. Comparing to the seasonal KD, I don't think is, is too crazy there. I think that's pretty accurate. So that's a significant drop. Kills per game 1.36 versus about like 1.64. Now, granted, it's kills per game versus KD, so it's going to be a little skewed, but they're very similar because the only difference is how many times you got respawned in a match and then died again. So I performed significantly worse at estates versus my average performance, which is very interesting because estates is a hot drop, so you'd think you'd have a lot more chances to get kills and damage. Evidently, that's not the case. Um, looking over here at win rate, this is actually interesting as well. Even though my total um, damage and kills were lower than my average, my win rate actually stayed about the same. My average win rate for this season is about a 6.14. I had a 6% win rate at the States. So even though I was dealing less damage and killing less players, I was still winning about the same amount of games as I usually did, which is very interesting. And then a couple miscellaneous stats here. The zone was hot 12 times. That's not enough times to really gather enough data to tell, you know, the difference between do I do better when the zone is hot or do I do worse when the zone is hot? Not really enough data, but I figured I'd point it out regardless. And then also the drop was free 4% of the time, four out of the 100 drops, we were not contested. Uh, once again, not enough data there to really draw any accurate conclusions. Now, finally, the last modifier that I promised before, breaking it down by duos and trios. I queued in for 63 duos matches in these 100 games and 37 trios matches. And this is actually a very interesting stat. Because even though I played significantly more duos matches than trios matches, my performance in the duos mode 
was across the board worse than my performance in the trios mode. So breaking it down here, let's look at the drops, duos and trios. Like I said, 63% duos, 37% trios. Kills per game, 1.32 under duos, 1.43 under trios. Not a huge difference, but significant. Average damage, 472 versus 614. That is about 150, quick maths, don't put me on the spot. Um, about 150 more damage in the trios mode versus the duos mode, which is interesting. And then win percentage was massive. I won two games in duos and four games in trios. Even though I played less games in trios, I won double the amount of matches that I did in duos matches, which is very interesting. And then here I drew up some bar charts, which further accentuates the difference between my duos performance and trios performance. 1.32 versus 1.43, and then 400 versus 600 damage, which I found very interesting. Lastly, like I said, we're going to break down every single drop by where I dropped exactly in the POI. So I dropped at top mid, long boy, 2x4, outer rim, bikes, pit stop, and then I never even dropped the jump tower. So this little line of demarcation here means that I determined there was too little data here to even calculate any of these stats because they wouldn't really mean anything, right? For example, let's say I drop this one time at pit stop. Let's say I pop off and I, and I have a five kill game and we, and we win the game. Does that mean I should be dropping pit stop every time because the stats are amazing? No, because I only dropped there one time. There's not really a solid line there for how much data is enough data to really draw accurate conclusions, but there's a pretty significant drop here between 31 drops and eight drops. So that's why I put the line there. But looking at these top two POIs that I dropped at the most, top mid, I dropped the most um, with 53 games. And my kills per game was actually above my average kills per game there at 1.64. So I performed very well when I dropped a top mid. Average damage was very high as well, higher than my average. And win percentage was massive. 6% win rate average versus 9.4% at top mid. So top mid, very good performance. The other drop that I dropped a decent amount of times was long boy with 31. Um, and long boy, I was significantly worse at. I had actually an even one kill per game at long boy, which is kind of funny. Average damage was significantly lower than top mid, and my win percentage as well was significantly lower. So top mid obviously was my best performing drop in all of estates. And like I said, I think this is probably just because it is the power position on the map. It's God spot. You have ultimate height. You have a full 360 line of sight on all of the other buildings in the game. They're all below you. You can pick and choose what fights you want to take, push where you want to, get pot shots if you want to, you are in control of your destiny whenever you control top mid in estates. So that is why I believe I perform the best at top mid, and that's why going forward, I'm probably going to land at top mid every single time that I come to estates here in the future. Just looking at these stats, of course. Now, obviously you can't land at top mid every time, right? Uh, if you get a bad drop, somebody's gonna beat you to the loot pools, then you're probably gonna have to veer off and go to a different spot, obviously. <laughs> but, you know, in a vacuum, in a perfect world, you want to drop top mid every single game. Lastly, we can look at the hot zone stats for fun. Like I said, not really enough data here, uh, not enough games. I want to say there were 11, 11 or 12 uh, games where it was hot zone. I won one of them, um, and then my average damage was 431.6 repeating, and my average kills was again evened out to about one. So, you know, like I said, not enough data there to draw any conclusions, but. I figured I'd throw it out there, you know, just for funsies, I suppose. So that is the ultimate breakdown of every single stat that I tracked in my 100 drops of estates straight. And what we determined is, while I'm significantly better at trios on estates, I should be dropping top mid every chance I get. But overall, my performance at estates was worse than my average performance this season. Now, obviously, like I said, uh, get a couple more POIs, get a couple more 100 drops under my belt, and then we'll have a better determination for what my average damage, average kills, all this looks like at all the different POIs. But as of now, just comparing it against my season average, because that's all I have, um, did much worse at estates than I expected, especially considering the number of times that I dropped there. That's one of my favorite drop spots on Olympus. So very interesting to look at, but that is going to do it for me. That is going to do it for this video. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this. This took a very long time for me to make. If you guys like this video, or if you even made it to this far, because golly, this thing is turning out to be very long, um, then I'd really appreciate a like and a subscription because like I said, I plan on doing this for every single POI in the game on all five maps. And we are going to look at what the best POIs in the entire game to land at are in pubs, of course. So that's it. That does it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Even if you just watch the gameplay, just watch the stat breakdown, whatever. As long as you enjoyed this content, that's what really matters to me. And I am definitely looking forward to making more of these in the future. So hit that sub button. Stay tuned for more. Catch you guys in the next one. Adios.